In the course of doing our research, in a previous tutorial, we have a test called the test of two means or independent test of two means, which essentially measures the difference between two mean variables. In one particular case, we're looking at the difference in COVID rates between one method and definition of rural versus another definition of rural. And you can see here for these at the zip code level, the average is 810.48 versus 861. And then we run this t-test and we can look at this with statistical significance to see if we can reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. And basically we, we can, with some statistical con significance, at 95%, we can say that these means are statistically different or these means are not statistically equal. Now, typically we need better tools to do that. Now, in the course of my research, what I've been doing is, uh, here's a, an example here where we're looking at COVID rates using three different methods. So instead of looking at you know, rural versus uh, rural using two different methods. Now we're looking at three different methods. In the course of my research, there's a number of different ways to measure rural. Uh, one's using the MSA method. Uh, another is using the uh, census method, which is based on uh, population density. The MSA method is based on the county that they're located in, and the RUCA method developed by the uh, ERS Economic Research Service is based on commuting patterns. And so you can see I've got a, a number of different zip codes that I have here that I've prepared the data for in which have the COVID rates using each of these different methods. And I want to see if the COVID rates, and these are the COVID rates as of January 21st, 20, 2021, are different amongst these different methods. And basically the, the hypothesis or the working hypothesis behind my research is that uh, we're looking at health data and income data, a number of different uh, socioeconomic health related phenomena to see if the way that we define rural is going to change our outcome of results. And so I want to see the way we define rural using one method versus another method versus another method is going to change my results. Now, I could have used just using one method versus another method, the test of two means. But here I have to take it a little bit further and I'm going to use something called an ANOVA. Now, an ANOVA is, it takes the t-test one step further by looking at statistical differences between three or more groups. And in this particular case, we're looking at statistical differences between between my uh, between COVID rates for these different zip codes. Now, for method one, one of the methods had 384 zip codes versus 191 versus uh, 320 zip codes. So we do have a different number here. Now, I'm going to run this in the data analysis tool in Excel. So you might need to activate this um, depending upon your version of Excel that you have here. But I'm going to run this, and it's fairly simple. I'm going to click on ANOVA, single factor, and I'm just going to select my input range. And I've already done this, uh, or I've already done this, but I'm just going to grab these three columns, and it knows it works in the columns. And I'm, go I'm going to go all the way to the bottom of the last column here. And then here it is. And I can signify if there's labels in the first row or whatnot. I'm going to click OK. And this is when I run it. So using one method, the average COVID rate is 625. Another method, it's 594. Another method, it's 631, the way that we define rural. So I'm just averaging up the COVID rates for all 316 versus 594. Uh, versus 377 versus 189. And in this particular case, we might have some null values there, so it doesn't count those. And then what I care about, I don't care too much about the, the variance, but when I display my results, I'm definitely going to display the average, degrees of freedom, F, but I care about this p-value. And the lower the p-value is, that means that there's more of a statistical difference between the three or more groups. So I see a p-value here of about 0.33, and I, I can't say that these values are statistically different, or these averages are statistically different. Now we're going to look at an example, an, an example of another one where I believe they are. And this is income data. And so once again, I've got my census method, which is based on population density, uh, urban clusters. 
uh, MSA, which is based on counties, and RUCA, uh, Rural Urban Commuting Patterns, uh, or Rural Urban Continuum Area, which is based on commuting patterns. And I, I did the same exact thing here. So you can see the you know, 384 versus 191 versus 320 zip codes that I've collected here. And then once again, I'm going to go to Data, Data Analysis, and then ANOVA Single Factor. And what I'm doing here is essentially seeing if there's a statistical difference between the three columns here. So once again, I'm going to do the same thing. going to go to the bottom. I don't have labels here because I didn't include the labels, and I'm going to click OK. And now you can see, using one method, it's 42,914. Another is 40,000. Another is 41,000 with a p-value, very, very small p-value. So this is going to be significant at the 99% uh, p uh, is less than 90, uh, 0 0.01 or 99% confidence that the average of my incomes using these different methods is statistically different. And so we can accept the alternative hypothesis as opposed to the null hypothesis. So as I'm going through and doing this research, I can see that well, for some type of data, there's going to be statistical differences between the three or more values. And in this case, uh, it was income and COVID rates. In other cases, there will not be a statistical difference. So hopefully you understand and recognize the difference between or the need for using an ANOVA versus a two, you know, a two tail T test, or in this case, a test of two means versus a two groups versus an ANOVA, which looks at three groups, and make sure we're, we're able to say what these results tell us.